So hello guys and welcome back to our channel Simple Random Knowledge. So guys in today's video we are going to see how to design hook for the EOT cranes. So before moving towards our video there are around 80% of people who are watching this video but they haven't subscribed to my channel. So I generally request to all you guys that please to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon near it. So without wasting any more time let's start with today's video. So guys these are the dimensions that we are going to use while designing our hook. So now we start with our designing. So for designing the hook we are going to design first inner profile. So for that select front plane, select normal tool, go to sketch, select circle. Now draw circle on origin, click on ok. Now go to smart dimension, select circle and give the dimension to this circle as 125 mm. So guys all the dimensions that I am taking right now is as per my calculations and there are some of the dimensions which I am manipulating as per my assembly. Please follow the dimensions that you have calculated. Now go to lines and select this down arrow. Select center line. Draw a horizontal center line from this origin. Now same way draw a vertical center line from this origin. Now go to smart dimension and give the dimension to this line as 150 mm and dimension to this vertical line as 200 mm. Click on OK. Now we are going to use three point arc to design our curve. So go to three point arc. So start your arc from the surface up to this height and place your third point at this position. Same way use three point arc. Start your arc from this surface up to this height and place your third point at this position. Now press Ctrl key select this arc and select this circle and select relation as tangent. Click on OK. Same way select this arc and select this circle and give the relation as tangent. Click on OK. Now select this point and select this end point of this arc and give the relation as horizontal. Click on OK. Adjust this endpoint close to this bottom surface and adjust this first arc at this height. Now you can give one more relation. Select this endpoint and select this center point. Give the relation as horizontal. Same way, select this endpoint and select this endpoint of this center line. And give the relation as vertical. Click on OK. Now go to smart dimension and give the dimension to this arc as 180 mm. If you are feeling this dimensions are too large, so what you can do is go to options, go to documents properties, select dimensions, select font and select your point and reduce this up to 12 mm. Click on OK. Click on OK again. So the font size of these dimensions get reduced. Now you can observe this sketch is not getting fully defined. So what you can do is Select center line and draw center line from this end point of this arc. Select this center line and select this arc. Give the relation as tangent. Click on OK. Now go to smart dimension and give the distance between this point and this end point of this arc as 30 mm. So you can see that our sketch got fully defined. Now the last part which is remaining is to trim the extra part. So trim this circle and trim this extended circle same way trim this part so now we have completed with the inner profile of our hook so click on ok and exit this sketch now we are going to draw circular profile at this point so we required one plane so what you can do is select top plane i will adjust the view so that you can understand it well now press ctrl go to this edge of this top plane and drag this top plane so that one extra plane will be created. Now to define this plane, select this point and this plane will get defined. So you can see the message that plane is fully defined. So click on OK. Now we can easily drop circular profile at this point. So go to circle, select center point as origin, draw the circle up to this arc. Now exit this sketch. You can hide this plane by right clicking on this plane and select option hide. Now similar way we are required to draw one circular profile at this end point. 
but it should be normal to this line so what we can do is go to feature select reference geometry select plane select reference as this arc and second reference as this point so you can see this plane is normal to this arc and we have got a message that the plane is fully defined so click on ok now we can easily draw a circular profile at this point so select first plane go to circle draw a circle up to this end point you can right click on this plane and select normal view so you can observe here that the center point of this circle and this line is somewhere offset from each other so what you can do is select this origin and select the center point of this circle and give the relation as vertical click on ok and adjust the diameter of this circle so we have completed with our second profile also now exit this sketch you can hide this plane by right clicking on this plane select option hide so now we require trapezoidal profile at this point so what we can do is go to top plane select normal to go to center line draw horizontal line from this origin up to this point and extend this line up to some distance now go to smart dimension select this line and give the length of this line as half of 125 which is 62.50 and length of this line as 100 mm now select midpoint line and draw a line from this point vertically downwards same way again go to midpoint line and draw a line from this point vertically downwards now select line and make this profile as closed now go to smart dimension and give the length of this midpoint line as 50 mm and length of this smaller line as 15 mm go to sketch fillet option so that we can eliminate these sharp edges and give the fillet parameter as 5 mm and follow the procedure for all the corners so click on yes So click on OK and exit this sketch fillet. So we have drawn our trapezoidal profile. So now we are supposed to copy the same profile at this vertical point. So what we can do is go to tools and select option block and select here make and select this sketch. Go to insertion point. So you can see that this is the insertion point. So drag this point towards this origin. So this insertion point act as a base point of this profile. So click on OK. So this way we have created one group which is called as a block. Now exit this sketch. Now we want this block on this vertical surface. So what we can do is select right plane, go to tools, select option block. Now previously we have selected make. Now we are supposed to select insert. So you can see we have our base point with us. Now paste this base point on this origin again. Now click on escape key. So guys you can see that this profile that we have got is not on vertical plane but it is on horizontal plane. So for getting this sketch on this vertical surface what we can do is go to this downwards arrow and select option rotate entities. Select entities to rotate as this block and select the center point as this origin. We are supposed to rotate as 90 degree. So minus 90 degree from 360 so we get 270. So we have rotated this block successfully. So click on OK. Now we have done with our inner profile. We have drawn four profiles which we are going to use for locked. But there is one more thing which is missing. That is our outer profile. So for drawing the outer profile, first of all exit this sketch. Go to front plane. Select normal to. Now we are going to use special line which is called as a spline. So we are going to insert four points. First point on this top surface. Second on this middle surface. Then on bottom and last on this end point and press escape key now we are going to give some relations to this spline and this profiles so first select this circle press ctrl key select this end point and give the relation as peers click on ok select this point press ctrl key select this midpoint and give the relation as coincident click on ok so now follow the same thing select this midpoint and select this bottom point and give the relation as coincident click on ok and last select this circular profile press ctrl key and select this end point and give the relation as peers click on ok so this profile is irregular so for adjusting this profile select front view so now when you click on this point you get this kind of arrows so click on this end point and drag this end point wherever you require so this way you can adjust these curves 
so i am adjusting this curves when you click on this point and extend this line it will increase the length of this circular profile same way you can observe the curve the curve is moving up and down so make sure you keep this horizontal if you are having the outer dimensions you can draw three point arc and you can give the dimensions to it but right now i don't have any outer dimensions so i am using spline so click on okay so now we are ready to use this loft base option first of all exit this sketch go to features loft boss now one by one go on selecting on this profile first select this smaller circle then select this vertical profile then select horizontal profile and last select this top profile so we have got some kind of loft base but the extrusion that we have got is not smooth and regular so we can use the guided curve option so we have our inner profile and outer profile so first select inner profile and second select this outer profile so we have created our loft base successfully so click on ok there are some final touches which are remaining so you can observe this tip is not pointed so what we can do is go to fillet option select this surface and give the parameter as 3mm click on ok so we have got our tip of our hook now the last thing which is remaining is the top head of this hook select this top surface select normal to go to sketch select circle draw circle from this origin go to smart dimension and give the dimension to this circle as 64 mm click on ok now go to features select extrude boss and extrude this surface up to 150 mm click on ok so now we are going to create some threading at this top surface so for that select this top surface select sketch select convert entities now go to features select curves select helix and spiral so select here height and pitch select reverse the direction select height as 75 mm and select the pitch as 5 mm click on ok now we have created our helix but we required some profile to swept cut these threads so for that select front plane normal to go to sketch select polygon and select the side as 3 so we can create a triangle now adjust the view select the center of this triangle select this helix by pressing ctrl key and select option peers click on ok now exit this sketch go to the swept cut feature now select the solid profile as this triangle and select the curve which should be followed as this helix so this way we can create the threading on this top surface so click on ok so our threading is ready you can hide this helix so we have completed with our designing of our hook so go to save and save this component as a hook first create one new folder as snatch block and rename this file as a hook click on ok so guys i hope that you have enjoyed this video please hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon near it and share this video among your friends and if you have not watched my previous video on design and assembly of a snatch block then you will get the link of that video in our description as well as in i button so until our next video stay safe and happy learning thank you